You know that an actor's good when they're the one redeemable thing in a movie like Jonah Hex. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Josh Brolin performances. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the best and most iconic performances from a performer who has only gotten better with age. Number 10. Cable, Deadpool 2 I'm here for the kid. A cybernetic man from the future who goes back in time to prevent the death of his family, Cable is an ideal comedic foil for Deadpool. Where the merc with a mouth talks a mile a minute, Roland portrays Cable as a stoic soldier who'll stop at nothing to complete his mission. People think they understand pain, but they have no concept of it. Unlike some of the characters from the DC universe, however, Cable isn't a complete stick in the mud. Despite having a no-nonsense attitude, he can still get a laugh from his master-of-fact reactions to Deadpool's absurd antics. When you're acting opposite a character as hilarious as Deadpool, keeping a straight face isn't easy. But the cool, composed Brolin pulls it off flawlessly. Move or die. Pump the hate breaks, Thanos. Number 9. Eddie Mannix. Hail Caesar. Does the depiction of Christ Jesus cut the mustard? The Coen brothers' homage to old school Hollywood brings together an A-list cast, with Brolin taking center stage. Brolin plays Eddie Mannix, a real-life fixer tasked with cleaning up the messes that take place behind the scenes. That he was going to his dressing room, but he isn't there. Out on a bender, middle of the day, am I crazy? In addition to clashing with egotistical actors, Mannix faces a dilemma of biblical proportions when the star of an expensive epic is kidnapped. Brolin nails the persona of a 1950s studio executive with a fast-paced manner of speech and a response ready for every question. If I ever hear you bad-mouthing Mr. Skank again, it'll be the last thing you say before I have you tossed in jail for colluding in your own abduction. He can extinguish a scandal quietly and sensitively, but isn't afraid to get his hands dirty if needed. Even when a situation is spiraling out of control, his head is always in the game. Quite right, Patriarch. Number 8. Detective Christian F. Bigfoot Bjornsson. Inherent Vice. No one would ever be stupid enough to attempt this alone. Brolin is always great when playing characters in a position of power, as few actors can command the silver screen quite like him. In Inherent Vice, Brolin once again finds himself in a supporting role that impeccably complements the protagonist. Where Joaquin Phoenix's doc is dazed and laid back, Detective Bigfoot approaches every case with stern intensity. Oh, you feel like a cop almost, don't you? At the same time, Bigfoot does have an eccentric side, possessing a passion for frozen bananas that's only rivaled by his hatred of hippies. As unpredictable as Bigfoot can be, Brolin never goes too over the top, just barely keeping him at the edge of sanity. We can only imagine what would happen if Bigfoot went completely off the deep end. I mean, who can blame me for thinking that? Number 7. Brand, The Goonies. I'm gonna hit you so hard when you wake up, your clothes are gonna be out of stock. Brolin has taken on so many iconic roles in recent years that many people forget that he made his film debut in 1985's The Goonies. Playing the older brother of fellow rising star Sean Astin, Brolin broke out as the athletic brand. Half of the time, this self-appointed leader wants to beat up his wimpy brother and friends for making his life exceedingly difficult. As a treasure hunt begins to unfold, however, Brand takes it upon himself to protect the other Goonies from violent criminals and booby traps, with enough time left to get the girl. While he prides himself on being a tough guy, Brand is ultimately a sweetheart who never says die. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough, Mikey. Long enough. Number 6. Matt Graver, Sicario You know, I brought an old buddy of yours. I bet you I'll go to him. Sicario centers on Emily Blunt's Kate Maser, an FBI agent who underestimates what she's in store for upon joining a special task force. If Kate is the movie's heart, then Brolin's Matt Graver is definitely the sturdy backbone. Where Kate struggles to separate her emotions from her work, Matt has practically become desensitized to the acts of violence he witnesses on a regular basis. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. As a result, he doesn't mind bending the rules and putting others in danger, if it means maintaining order. Matt easily could have been a one-note character, but instead emerges as complex and identifiable. Brolin left such an impression that he was essentially promoted to co-lead in the sequel. I'm gonna have to get dirty. Number 5. George W. Bush. W. I mean, whoever remembers the son of a president. Being one of the more controversial U.S. presidents, George W. Bush is often depicted through a comedic lens. While this Oliver Stone film certainly isn't without its comedic moments, it never turns into an SNL sketch. Rather, Brolin's performance offers a sympathetic representation of Bush, presenting him as a black sheep, determined to make his mark and earn his father's respect. I'll try harder, Poppy. I promise. Once he finds himself in the country's most powerful office, though, Bush begins to question his ability to lead as America enters its darkest hour. 
Spending months mastering Bush's Texan accent and body language, Brolin delivers an authentic portrayal that rings true while also allowing us to see the 43rd in a different light. Look, if I need to read the whole damn constitution, I'll learn it. Number four, Tom Cheney, True Grit. I know you. Although Brolin isn't on screen for long in True Grit, the film largely revolves around his character. After outlaw Tom Cheney murders young Maddie Ross's father, she teams up with the drunken rooster to track him down. Virtually unseen for the film's first two thirds, the audience begins to imagine what Cheney is like in their heads. So it comes as something of a surprise when Maddie finally confronts Cheney and finds that he's basically just a drunken simpleton. There's a posse of officers up there who will force you to go. A lot is interesting news. While by no means a master criminal, Brolin still portrays Cheney as a despicable lowlife who won't hesitate to harm a little girl. Intimidating while also injecting some welcome comedy, Brolin makes the most out of little. I will pay you $50 out of my winnings. I am not heavy. Number three, Thanos, Avengers Infinity War. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Just a couple of weeks before appearing as Cable, Brolin stole the show in another Marvel blockbuster. Over the course of several years, the MCU built up Thanos as the biggest bad in the franchise's history. When the character was finally given time to shine in Avengers Infinity War, Brolin didn't disappoint with his emotive motion capture and voice performance. It's not Thanos' power or Infinity Gauntlet that makes him an interesting villain per se, it's that he actually views himself as the hero of the story, even willing to make personal sacrifices for what he considers the greater good. A perfect marriage between an actor and special effects, Thanos is as real as CGI characters get. I hope they remember you. Number 2. Dan White, Milk. Harvey, society can't exist without the family. The performance that earned Brolin his first Oscar nomination, Dan White was a real life city supervisor who developed hostile feelings towards openly gay politician Harvey Milk. Although this Vietnam veteran seems friendly at first glance, White is overcome with inner demons that only become more apparent as things don't go his way. Not ever. I don't even know who you are. You just showed up out of nowhere. Some even speculate that he's a closeted homosexual, which would go against White's conservative ideals. This makes for a fascinating dynamic between White and Milk that's bound to end in tragedy. Subtly conveying numerous different layers, Brolin portrays White as somebody who perpetuates a traditional family man image, but is ultimately unable to conceal the murderer lurking underneath. Why, why are you turning on me like this? At the last minute? Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. We'll take it from here. Kay? Kay! Kay! Ah! What do you think? Self-preservation comes to mind. Pay your bills, Frank. Number one, Llewellyn Moss, No Country for Old Men. If I was into cutting deals, why wouldn't I just deal with this guy, Sugar? Javier Bardem's Oscar-winning turn as Anton Sugar might have garnered more attention, but Brolin's performance as Llewellyn Moss was just as essential to this movie's success. Upon stumbling upon a suitcase of cash, Moss becomes the target in a game of cat and mouse. I got a bad feeling, Llewellyn. Well, I got a good one, so that ought to even out. As crafty as Moss may be, he soon comes to realize that there's no such thing as a clean getaway. Charismatic while also being understated, Moss encompasses all of Brolin's strengths as an actor. While he had already been doing steady work as a character actor for over two decades, this was the role that propelled him to another level of popularity, helping to single out Brolin as one of the greats. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.